a five-year-old boy living in Seattle, Washington, Edison Jewell, raised over $17,000 at his lemonade stand. Prices are higher than they used to be, apparently. Anyhow, $17,000 from his lemonade stand and donated every single cent to the victims of the Maui wildfires. Young Edison was devastated watching the fires on his television, and he could not fathom all the families who lost their homes and all the kids who lost their toys. Edison's mom, Amy, wanted to help him make a difference, so they went out and stocked up on pink and yellow lemonades, ice cream bars, candy, water popsicles, and then set up the stand last Saturday. The advertisement reading, Lemonade for Lahaina. Good move, young man. Lemonade for Lahaina. While the lemonade cost a dollar, many people would donate five, ten, even twenty bucks at a shot, leaving the rest of their change and donations. Amy and her husband were even able to get their corporate jobs to match Edison sales three to one. Nice work. After the weekend was through, the family was able to donate seventeen thousand dollars to families in need in Maui. Addison learned a valuable lesson that every small act of kindness makes a difference. What you put out to the world, it comes back. It's true. That what makes America wonderful is that our generosity begets generosity, and Americans are never shy to stand together in times of need and give to those that need it the most. We have room for two good stories today. You know what makes America wonderful? We have big hearts that won't let us forget those who have suffered a loss, like in this story. The son of a fallen Utah police officer was escorted to his first day of kindergarten by his mom and a group of the Salt Lake Police Department called fill-in dads who stood in for his father. Jackson Romrell was pictured holding his mom's hand as they walked with a pack of uniformed South Salt Lake police officers and police chief Jack Carruth. They went to the school building. Jackson was just four months old when his dad, South Salt Lake police officer David Romrell, was killed in November of 2018. When suspects fleeing a reported burglary struck the officer with a vehicle, Ram Rell, who served several tours in the Marine Corps before joining the police department, left behind his wife and their four-month-old son. But they weren't left behind. Not by those on the front lines, they weren't. Never leave a man behind. Good stuff. 